And now, suspense. A case, Bert. It's the Manners case. Constance? Yes, I'm turning it over to you. They've got new evidence, Bert. She's been found? No, she hasn't been found. The police had a new lead a few weeks ago. Where? Uh, Duane, a little resort down upstate. You used to go there with Constance. Once, yes. What was the lead? A fellow by the name of Clymer. Arthur Clymer, an artist. You know him? He was seen with a woman answering Miss Manners' description. <laughs> Their words. They investigate? Sure. Climber denied it. The police didn't find anyone, so they dropped it. Well, they filed this case as closed over a year ago. What brings us in again? Her Uncle Alfred. That old goat has too much money. Look, Bert, I know it's a rough shake stirring up this case again, but you know what she meant to her uncle. You were in love with the girl yourself before you married Sally. You're the logical man, Bert, if you're up to it emotionally. What do you want me to do? Go up to this place, Duane. Get a cottage, live there. Get acquainted with Clymer. Find out what he feels, what he thinks. What about Sally? That's just it. You bring your wife with you. Don't you see, if you went up alone, Clymer might be suspicious. Sally's not going to like this. But if it's too much for you, say so. When do you want me to go? Just as soon as you can. All right. I'll phone in as soon as I'm ready to leave. I'm going to have to talk to Sally about this. He'll take it, Jim. It's a rotten thing trying to make him do it. No, no. I'm thinking about his wife. They've only been married a year. Just left. He's gone to tell Sally. drag you in on it. Oh, would it be any different for me if you went alone? Oh, darling. Oh, darling. This doesn't happen very often, does it? I'm not very demonstrative. Were you with her? No, that's not fair. You see what it's doing already? It's opening everything up. Oh, no, Bert. It would open everything up if we didn't face this. Do you want me to go... I don't want to play second fiddle to Constance anymore. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. Constance was my rival, as well as my friend. I didn't have a chance until she was gone. Sally, that was only because I didn't really know you. I have to be sure of that, Bert. I have to know that you're sure. I'm going to go back now. Mm.
haven't turned the electricity on. Lynn. I thought I told him that we'd be here tonight. Well, there must be a lamp or some candles or something around. Now leave the door open. Let some light come in. Ah, here's something. Bruce, listen. I don't hear anything. Well, that's it. Just the cricket. Oh, it's so peaceful. You know, Bert, I have a hunch that this whole thing's going to be false alarm. This climber fellow will turn out to be some stuffy old artist with bats in his belfry. So we can have a wonderful vacation. You know, we never had a real honeymoon, Bert. Sure, it's, um, it's chilly in here. How about a fire? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Say, I'll see if I can't find us another lamp or something. Detective, we don't know how long it's been here or whether some ar other artist might have lived here. There's no signature on it. You looked? Well, sure I looked. Uh, what do you mean? I thought when you saw this portrait, you stopped being a detective. Well, you thought wrong. I'm only a detective. That's all I want to be. Now, I'll call the renting office first thing in the morning and find out if Clymer did live here. <laughs> Let her look at us. She'd prefer it that way. I'll go upstairs and see about the beds. She is beautiful, isn't she? My best friend. Beautiful and tantalizing and wicked. Sally, can't you forgive her? I never stood in her way, Bert. I knew her almost ten years, but I never stood in her way, not even with you. But what sort of a wife would she have made you, Bert? Fair as he saw her. Oh, he wasn't fooled. Look at that face. That's not the face of your dream. That's her real face. Cruel and willful. You really weren't her friend, were you? No, Bert. I was your friend. What, the Millers, that was up on the hill. Well, lots of artists come out here, don't they? I thought some artists might have it. Artists? Mm. Don't get many artists around here. <laughs> Do we, David? Oh, well, that fella made baskets two years ago. One ran his bicycle through the big shop window. No, no, no. I mean painters or sculptors. Mm, don't recollect no sculptors being here. Ain't much to sculpt but trees. Well, you must have some way of finding out. Can't you trace it? Don't see what difference it makes, young fella. Whoever it was, they ain't here now. Look, don't you keep books on the places you rent? Come to think of it, uh, we didn't rent your cottage last summer. Mr. Eckridge done that himself. Where can I find him? Up in Maine. Left early this year. I see. Thanks for your trouble. Oh, uh, did you ever hear of a fellow named Clymer, Arthur Clymer? Don't recall. 
He's the fellow you're looking for? I'm not looking for anybody, just a friend of a friend. David, what's that fellow the police was questioning a while back? Uh, about a girl, wasn't it? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, thanks for your trouble. Uh, no trouble. Mm. Anything happen? Lane close mouth town. If I had stopped two more people, I might as well have put on a badge. Yes. Funny, I, I don't remember it that way. Remember? Bert, you were here before. With Constance. You never told me. Oh, I thought I had, or she had. I don't see why it matters anyway. It Go ahead, move it back. You see it's out of place. How do I know what place it was in? We can't escape her. Can we, Bert? Oh, Sally, Hello, look. anybody home? Oh, there you are. Glad I found you in. I remembered this morning that I left some property here. I'm Arthur Clymer. My name's Hastings, and this is my wife. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, there it is. I knew I left it here. You made it? You're a sculptor? Well, I dabble. I did this last summer. In this very house, as a matter of fact. It's a beautiful piece of work. Did you use a model for it? My wife. She's quite a beautiful woman. <laughs> in on you like this. I left the door open. You're dressed rather formally, aren't you? I thought your wife would be here. Ah, oh, yes, my wife. My beloved Constance. You came to see her, didn't you? No, I didn't. Sure you did. You saw her a portrait. You fell in love with her. I'm used to it. That's not true. Why didn't you bring your wife? She's not well. You're lying. You came to see Constance, all right. You shall see her. Join the ranks of her admirers. Hardly an exclusive club. Constance, come here, darling. We have company. Constance. Come and present yourself. <laughs> you thought you'd see her. She isn't even here. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Sorry to disappoint you, Hastings. She hasn't been here in quite a while. She's left you? Oh, no. No. No, I... I get a letter nearly every day. I'll get one in the morning. The little cheat! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you crying for? I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to do. I... I keep her letters there in my desk and all her clothes in the closet. All her clothes, just as they were. I try to go on with my work and it's just agony, just agony. 
but I love her. Hastings, I love her more than a man should love a woman. case as if you were the DA. Aren't you going to eat anything? I haven't got time. Bert! Bert! You're not going there again tonight. You think she's there, don't you? I don't know. Will you stop badgering me? You want her to be there, don't you? You want her to be there. You're still in love with her. Yes. Yes, I... I do want Constance to be there. Yes, I... I do still love her. She never lived here. Why did you lie to me? Why? Why did you? Why not you tell me where she oh, is? Why? No. Why? Why don't you tell me where she is? She's dead. How? Oh. How did she die? How does one die? That's an interesting question. Answer me. Some say when the breath leaves the body, there is death. But it is also said we live suspended in each other's minds, so, so perhaps there is no death. How? How did she die? I killed her. No, you didn't. You, you're out of your mind. No, no, not anymore. Maybe I was. Maybe I had reason. You've seen her face. To kiss that face, waking and sleeping. You know what that means to a man? To see your loveliness, walk with it and touch it and know it is not yours. To hear her say, I love no. you. To hear her say, I love you. No. But I could not win her. She belonged to no one. No one but herself. You know what that means? She's buried outside. I'll show you.
Yes. An angel of death. A little angel of death for my Constance. She is not there. She's not under that ground. Where is she? 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 Constance. No, you're not. You're not. Con I killed Constance. She's down there at the bottom of the cliff. I... You killed her. You killed Constance. Yes, madam. We found the body at the bottom of the cliff a week ago. We knew we had done it, but we needed proof. You're the police? I'm a detective, ma'am. Your husband's agency cooperated with us. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hastings. I had to play it this way to get a confession. Uh. 